Okay. <laughs> you got us, Ninja Larry? All right, we're back here on Jiggy Jag TV, Community Access Television, the lowest rated show on access, but number one in hell. I'm, of course, Jigman Freud, the master debater, the cunning linguist, the uh, admiral of alliteration, or as they call me on YouTube, the psycho pervert from hell. And uh, Ninja Larry behind the camera, we got Action Corey and Sheevers with us. Ross Long, the man who was like a squirrel in a jello fight. I don't know what that means. And uh, <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself so the ladies will know where to write the complaint letters. And if you've seen this show, they do love to complain about it. <laughs> Matt Dozat, Hydra Vibe. Heather St. Marie. Philip Mathis. Elliot Larango. And you guys are Hydro Vibe. Right. Now, uh, we had you on the radio earlier today, on my radio show, my lovely radio show. Um... What the hell? Where do you guys go after tonight? What's the next big conquest for Hydro Vibe? St. Joseph, Missouri. So you guys are just on a huge tour, right? Yeah, we're wrapping up the tour right now, and then we're going to head back to L.A. to some warmth to thaw out for Christmas. <laughs> now, uh, how would you guys get together as a group? Uh, he and I started the band in Louisiana, and then we decided to take it a step further and move to L.A., the rest of the band couldn't or wouldn't make it, so we just went out there and found Philip through a mutual friend who was playing bass for Tommy Lee at the time, and then held auditions for quite a while till we found our last gym, Elliot Larango. <laughs> last gym. <laughs> so, uh, other ex other other band experiences. How does that compare to being in Hydro Vibe? I've only been in Hydro Vibe, <laughs> so. There you go. Uh, I, well, it's really my only real band experience as well so yeah touring traveling playing drums it's the, that's the, the that's the cause for being in a band yeah. it's about the same I mean that kind of sums it up yeah so uh, if you guys could play with any three bands living dead broke up whatever who would they be Zeppelin, yeah. yeah. Let's go with present day. Sabbath. How about Sabbath or Ozzy? Yeah. Probably go with Scorpions. Just uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you go with Crocus. I'm looking for the wind of change. Um, <laughs> I would go with Deep Purple, maybe. Let's go. Cool. Right. Let's go. Cool. So uh, you guys have a MySpace website, all that. Go ahead and mention that. Oh, we're very techy. We have a uh, hydrovibe.com is the spot for everything you want to know about Hydrovibe. We're also on myspace.com slash hydrovibe, facebook.com slash hydrovibe. Any new ones that pop up, just try slash hydrovibe. Chances are I've jumped on it already. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> now, uh, with you guys being touring musicians, how has the economic downturn affected you guys? I'm noticing a little less tip money in the tip jar, a little less sales, but really it hasn't been too bad so far. I mean, we've worked on building a real loyal fan base, and I'm noticing this time around everyone's like, I brought a friend, you know, or our friends, and so we're getting all the new converts to the Hydra Vibe cause. So it's been great. I don't really, you know, the way I look at it, I mean, people always need to be entertained, especially now. We're all kind of sad about our pocketbooks, so we need to be entertained. <laughs> our crowd is usually drivers. They would drive, like, do three shows on tours yeah. we'd see in the same faces three times and now they're kind of picking one or two we've noticed yeah well thank you guys i appreciate it looking forward to the show tonight let's go watch and perform here on jiggy jag tv all right i'm gonna switch off and hand it over to our second year viewer okay